this video I'm going to show you how you can solve a polynomial equation using your calculator. And I'll be using the TI-84, but it also works for TI-83. So the equation that I want to solve is x cubed plus 54 is all equal to 27x. To make this process a little bit easier, make sure you get everything over onto one side so that it is equal to zero. So I will subtract a 27x uh, from both sides giving me an x cubed minus 27x plus 54. Alright, so this is what we want to put into our calculator. Let's go ahead and grab it. So you want to go to your y equals screen and put in our polynomial. So y equals, and we'll put in our x cubed uh, minus 27x plus 54. Alright, looks good. Go ahead and go to the graph screen to see if we can get a good picture as to what this looks like. Now I'm using a window from negative 10 to 10 on my x's and negative 10 to 10 on my y's. So it looks like this has a couple of spots uh, that could be solutions. To have the calculator find these, press your second and then trace button uh, to get the calc menu. So second calc. You want to use the option number two for zeros. Now, if we want to find this first zero down here, uh, we need to choose a left bound, a right bound, and then make a guess. So, looking at the little tick marks here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, it, it looks like it, it's probably negative 6, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, for my left bound, I'll choose something less than a negative 6. So, I'm just going to type in negative 7, enter. And then I want something on the right side of that. So let's type in something like, I don't know, negative 3. That's definitely on the right side. And now we get to make our guess. Where do we think this is? Let's say it's somewhere around negative 5.5. I, I really think it's at negative 6, but, you know, just somewhere between your left bound and right bound will work out just fine. Press Enter. The calculator will do its work. And it says that the 0 is located at x equals negative 6. So sure enough, that is one of our solutions, x equals negative 6. Now let's go through this process again to see if we can find the other one. So second, calc, go down to 0, and enter. So we need to choose a left bound, a right bound, and a guess for this one over here. Uh, this one looks like it's probably around 3, uh, so for my left bound I will choose 2, something to the left of 3. For the right bound I will choose, mm, let's go with 5. Somewhere on the right, and let's see, somewhere in between those, let's use three and a half. Okay, calculator will think for a bit. It says it found it at 2.9999999. So we'll round that and say x equals three. So those are two solutions that it found for this polynomial equation. Remember that we're essentially getting everything over to one side, and then having the calculator find the zeros. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.